public forum topic is now out. The United States should increase its use of nuclear energy for commercial energy production. There's not a lot to say in regards to the wording of this topic. Uh, commercial energy production just means energy available for sale on the public market and a discussion will include a mix of the normal energy supplies like petroleum products, wind and solar, and of course, our point man, nuclear energy. I'd like to break down the arguments today essentially into good arguments and bad arguments. So there's this trend in public forum and a personal bias on my part that we shouldn't just be trying to win debates, but that we should be trying to win them honestly and without resorting to fake news which of course is very tempting to try to cram into a four minute case. So let's start off with pro, the reasons why the US should increase its nuclear energy use. So let's look at good argument number one for nuclear energy, which is the fact that it is clean energy. This is the trump card of the pros case. Clean energy can reduce carbon emissions, which can help to reduce or eliminate global warming. Now, of course, we're only reducing the U.S.'s contribution, but as the U.S. is the world's biggest per capita carbon emitter, that's a pretty big difference. Uh, the U.S.'s global leadership will also have a knock-on effect to other countries, where us building more nuclear will also encourage other countries to build more nuclear. And so we can have impacts from this argument stretching out to save hundreds of millions or perhaps billions of people through reducing climate change. Our good argument number two for pro is capacity. So nuclear power plants produce huge amounts of electricity when you compare it to other energy sources and they can do it consistently. So they don't rely on the sun or on wind or on water supply like some kinds of alternative energy. And because they have such a big capacity, this ties really well into the clean energy argument that if we really wanna make a dent in global warming, we're going to need to do it cleanly, but also be able to supply much of the world, much of the United States with this clean energy. So it's not enough just to be carbon neutral. Uh, we actually have to be producing a huge amount of electricity to be able to replace fossil fuels. Good argument number three is small module reactors. Small module reactors are kind of the poster child for next gen nuclear power. They're small, they're portable, and they produce cheap nuclear energy available on demand with safe designs making meltdown risk minimal and other uh, dangers from nuclear power plants fairly minimal. Uh, a lot of the issues we have with nuclear power, like cost, size, and safety seem to be eliminated with some of the small module reactor or SMR designs, at least according to the companies that are making these reactors. So mentioning one bad argument for pro, and that is cost. So if you look at the cost of energy production for nuclear versus other kinds of energy, you'll see that the cost of nuclear actually is pretty low. However, this is only after taking out the costs of construction and decommissioning, which are huge. We're talking billions of dollars huge per nuclear power plant. So if the US is actually going to need, uh, going to increase the amount of nuclear energy, we're going to have to probably increase the number of nuclear energy plants. And this is going to be costing uh, anywhere in the neighborhood of like six to 13, 14, 15 billion dollars per plant uh, for construction. So this argument is a little bit dishonest on the part of the pro. In reality, nuclear energy is quite expensive. Now we move on to con, the reasons why the US should not increase its nuclear energy use. So our first good argument for the con side is waste. Uh, nuclear power plants produce massive amounts of toxic and radioactive waste. We don't have anywhere to put that waste in the United States. That's a problem as it was at Fukushima almost 10 years ago. Of course, we have learned some lessons from Fukushima and we've even started to put some of this nuclear waste into safer storage facilities called dry cask. Uh, but ultimately they need a permanent home deep within the earth for them to release their toxic material for thousands, tens of thousands of years before they're safe for humans again. Uh, and the US doesn't have anything like this, despite repeated political efforts to make a storage place like this actually happen. We don't have anywhere to put all of our waste. 
Number two, good argument for the con side is, as we alluded to earlier, economics. Nuclear power costs a lot of money. Nuclear power plants often have extended construction delays and go over budget on the regular, making them a very risky investment. Therefore, nuclear energy is pretty expensive, making it a hard sell both for countries and for customers who don't wanna pay so much money for their energy needs. On the other hand, if you are keeping a safe and steady supply of clean energy to the United States, perhaps a high price tag is kind of worth it. The con side of this debate is riddled with bad arguments, but I wanted to mention just a couple of them here. So the first bad argument for uh, against nuclear energy is safety. Eight years after the Fukushima incident, HBO released, in my opinion, the best TV show of 2019, Chernobyl, which uh, scared a lot of us, really put the fear of God into us about nuclear energy. However, uh, the stats for nuclear energy don't quite hold up when you want to paint it in a bad light. Nuclear energy has had very few accidents and caused very few deaths compared to other forms of energy, especially oil and gas, which kill tens of thousands of people every year because of air pollution. For the con side, bad argument number two is about terrorism. Uh, spent nuclear fuel cannot be used to make nuclear bombs without extensive and technical reprocessing. Besides this, nuclear storage facilities are heavily monitored and patrolled. Even a sophisticated team would have a very hard time stealing fuel as it's very radioactive and would probably kill the people carrying it around. Safety and security around nuclear power plants have increased dramatically both since 9-11 and since Fukushima. So if Khan is trying to make the argument that more nuclear power plants will lead to more terrorism, the facts just don't hold up under scrutiny. It's not to say that it's impossible, but it would be much, much harder than Khan would like to maybe make it out to seem. If you're a debate student or debate teacher and need more materials and resources on this topic of nuclear energy, go ahead and click the link below. We'll hook you up with uh, evidence and cases along with other like video worksheets, things like that for free. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and uh, like the video. Give us a comment if you have any questions or comments and subscribe if you want more videos like this in the future. Bye bye.